Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I will be sharing my Reading Rush TBR. So the Reading Rush was previously called the Booktubeathon, which I still think is like, this is the Booktubeathon, so I still need to get used to their new name. This is a week-long readathon that takes place from July 22nd until July 28th at whatever time that you are living in. So I'm not from the US, I'm from the Netherlands. The hours are different here than in the US. There are seven different challenges. You can either choose like a book for each challenge, but I know that that is not realistic for me at all because I'm a very slow reader. And I'm really not good at like sitting for a couple of hours and reading. I have to be on the go, I have to move a little bit, I have to do other things in between as well. So for the seven challenges, I have chosen four books which will be on my to be read pile. They also have a website right now and you can keep track with your goals and with your challenges and you can get badges which I think is really cool so I will stay up to date with like the readathon on that website so if you want to add me because I believe that you can like add people and watch how they are doing. A link to their website will be in the description bar down below as well as like my profile so you can add me. The first challenge is a book with purple on the cover so for this one I mean, it's not cheating, but the purple is very minimal, but they said that that's fine too. So I have Leah on the Offbeat by Becky Albertalli. So um, this is the purple, her glasses, her drink, and um, yeah, I believe that's it. <laughs> I've read two of Becky Albertalli's books. One I found okay, which was Simon uh, versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda, but I absolutely adored her. Um, What's it called again? The one with the blue cover? It's like, oh, it's called The Upside of Unrequited. That was, I love that book so much and I read it last year and I still need to read Leah on the Offbeat and I've heard, I believe, kind of mixed things about this book but I don't really have any expectation. We shall see what I will think of this but I want to read it. It's a contemporary which I always really like to read during like a readathon because I can read it rather quickly. So the book with purple on the cover for this one. The second challenge is to read a book on the same spot which will be really easy and I'm not picking any book for that because I usually just read in my chair which is right here. It's like the most relaxing chair that you've ever sit in so I usually read all of my books there. The weather can also be really really good next week and then I might just sit outside and I will see in my wrap up like which book or books I chose for that challenge. Challenge number three is a book that you wanted to read last year and this is an obvious choice for me and I really I really want to finish it with the reading rush. It's like good that this is a challenge. So um, I have here The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. I let you guys pick this book for me in my March 2018 to be read and I still haven't finished it. I'm like over halfway of the book. I wasn't really invested in the story after I read the first chapter but after that I really actually quite enjoyed it and I started reading it more and then I lost interest again and read other YA books which I definitely prefer over The Hobbit. It's not that I don't like it, it's just that I like other books better. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find like an audiobook maybe on YouTube from this book and I will force myself to read it because I only have a hundred pages left and I just want to be done with this. Definitely choosing that one for this challenge. I have two other challenges which I can like count for The Hobbits. I think this next challenge qualifies for The Hobbit but I'm not sure so if it's incorrect please correct me in the comments. Challenge number four is read an author's first book. So I think The Hobbit was the first published book by J.R.R. Tolkien, but I could be wrong. I don't know. I think this qualifies for it, and if not, I might want to try and find another book. And the third and final challenge which this book qualifies for is the uh, challenge to read a book with a non-human main character. I was like, shit, this is gonna be so difficult. And then I remembered The Hobbit is a hobbit, and it's not a human, so yes. This qualifies for that challenge as well. Um, otherwise, I don't know what book I would have chosen for that challenge. Okay, and the last two books on my TBR could qualify for both of these challenges. Challenge number five is a book with five plus words in the title. So on my TBR, I uh, chose this one, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. This one has seven words on it. I started reading this a couple of months ago, so I have read just a little bit. I've never read the illustrated edition, plus I've also never read this book in English, only once in Dutch. I would really like to finish this one because I just love Harry Potter so much, like a lot of people in this world. And then the last challenge, challenge number seven, read a book to movie adaptation or like read a book 
that has a movie adaptation. For this one, I have The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky, and now you can see that both of these last two books qualify for both challenges. I don't really care which movie I'm gonna see, it's probably gonna be Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban because I just really love it. I've already seen this movie a couple of years ago, I just haven't read the book yet and I kind of um, have forgotten about the story. That is my TBR for the Reading Rush 2019. Let me know in the comments down below if you are participating as well, like what are the books that you're gonna read. I'm just really excited. I've only been able to like participate in this like booktubeathon slash reading rush readathon on like twice or three times maybe but I'm just really excited and at the moment I'm in such a good reading mood that this readathon will hopefully make me finish three or four books in a week. Blah, that would just be amazing and just mind-blowing. If you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. You guys can follow me on all of my different social media pages so if you want to stay up to date with what I'm currently reading, what my ratings are, etc. I have Goodreads but for more like a personal update on my life I also have Instagram, Snapchat plus an email address and link to those will be in the description bar down below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope that I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Thank you.